Hello. It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Sony ZV-1 which came out last year and I think is a groundbreaking camera for YouTube content creation and vlogging. And we're gonna compare it to its new counterpart, the ZV-E10, uh, which is an awesome new camera with a couple of upgrades that you're gonna be interested in. Now the question is, is this camera right for you? Before that, you're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, so I picked up this camera from Fullerton Camera. Shout out to Fullerton Cameras. And one of the cool things I noticed is it turns on when you open the flip screen. And that's a cool feature. Um, and I, I love how easy it is. Now, we're gonna talk about a couple of the easy to use features. It has this handle. Now, the, the handle is priced separately. I'll put the price up there. Um, but this camera, the new version is going for $699, so under $700. This is last year's model, so used, I've seen you can get them anywhere from four to $600, so you might consider that. Um, but this handle is on point, it is awesome. It has um, a flexible hinge right here. You just press this button and you can flex this anywhere you want. This uh, handle splits into a cool little mini tripod and on it, it has a record button and a zoom and a telephoto uh, lens. So really quick, that's how it looks when you open it and you flip the screen around and now I'm filming and you can see I'm zooming in and out using that. You can see the lens move accordingly. There's even a photo button right there, but you can see <laughs> how close it is right there. Can you see that? All right. That's awesome. All right. So now this is a 24 to 70 millimeter lens on here on the Sony ZV-1. I've told you about a couple of things I like about the handle, making it super easy and convenient to start creating content. I love the flip around screen and the dead cat up here that clips on covering the, the mic gives good sound. Now I took it out on a sunset hike and I have some clips and I'm gonna tell you about my experience and show you some kind of in the world moments. All right, first impressions, something I like is the handle. Um, it has a threaded, Kind of nut to tighten so you don't have to spin the whole handle to tighten it there's a record button on the handle there's a zoom in and telephoto feature on the handle so that's super good it seems stabilized and uh, there's a lock button on the handle so you don't actually uh, use those controls if you're being active and the handle turns into a tripod, so that's cool too. There's a record button on top, also a telephoto zoom uh, lens right here, kind of like the Sony RX100. And uh, I am a fan of the Sony RX100, so this reminded me a lot of it. Um, I don't uh, favor the Sony uh, menu system, but here are the things you want to pay attention to if you're deciding if this camera is right for you or the Sony ZV-E10, which is the new one. The number one difference is interchangeable lenses on the new version. So you can pop this uh, off and put on whatever angle you want. So that's super helpful for flexibility. Um, and the second thing is they changed the sensor from a one inch sensor in here to an APS-C sensor. So one of the things I noticed when I was using this, which is the one inch sensor is I felt like the picture quality was just okay. It was nowhere near what I was used to with the Canon EOS R. Definitely uh, not the Fuji X100V even, or the X-E4, um, which I'm filming on right now. So I would say that the new version has hands down a better sensor, better image quality, um, and it also has the flexibility for the interchangeable lenses. So I would definitely recommend, if you're into uh, the Sony, um, Sony cameras, maybe that's what's gonna sell you on this. If you're looking for a handy tool for um, flexible vlogging, YouTube content creation, I dig this setup. It feels good in the hand. You want to go out and film. Um, and I, I definitely look, I might pick up this used, but I also might look at the Sony as a comparison uh, for this one. I, it might be worth it just to pay the $699. But then of course, I would need to invest in a Sony lens because I have just Fuji and Canon. So those are some of the things that I would think about this. Highly favorable design. I actually like it. It does feel plasticky, but it feels good. 
Uh, feels good in the hand. This handle's really well built and uh, for the size of my hand, it feels great. So maybe if you have smaller hands, I don't know if that's a problem for you, but I love the design of this. It's a fun content creation tool. Now, here's the thing, price point, I'm gonna add up on the screen what it would be if you bought this handle and a lens and uh, the camera body of the new ZV-E10. That's on the screen here. Last year's model is here. And uh, next up on the channel, I'm gonna be looking at this uh, Fuji XS10 and kind of comparing this for a content creation tool. Um, so that's what you have to look forward to. And I will um, put any other stats or details up on the screen right now that you might be interested in this picking up this used versus the new Sony uh, ZV-E10 or maybe uh, in the next video or two, I'll cover the Fuji XS10. Drop a comment and let me know any other camera you think would be good for a YouTuber, a beginning filmmaker. By the way, this has beginning filmmaker written all over it. There's automatic picture profiles, um, and the new one even has some cool things like sh product showcase features or blurring the background, uh, automated. Uh, you just push a button, you get a blurred background. Uh, that's using the camera's ability to automate those settings for you if you don't know about camera settings. All the YouTubers I saw that talked about this camera and the new one really said, I'm not into this because I'm into cameras and I shoot manual. So just take that for what's worth. This is a great tool for beginners especially, but it really does feel good in the hand and I would love to jump in and start creating content with this. So thank you for joining me in this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'm gonna be doing more videos like this talking about what content creation tools, cameras you can use for your photography and filmmaking. So leave me a like, leave me a comment. Remember, tell me what camera you think I should look at that's a comparable camera to this. Is it the EOS RP? Is it uh, something else that's out there? And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you're well, bye. Ooh, this hill is something else. Tarantula zooming in on old oh boy. He's moving. Do you want to be in the movie? Darlene's here, but she's not in the movie. We're testing features of this camera, which